All right, so discussion who should start uh, in goal for Mexico. Also discussion about who should start up top. Uh, I guess we got three options, but really kind of only two, right? Could be Julian Quinones, but Henry Martin, Santiago Jimenez, the two uh, clear nines. Mal, what do you think? Henry Martin has to start. He has, has to, to start? Has to start. He is right now Mexico's best number nine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care that Santiago Jimenez plays in Europe because that's been your argument for the past, wow, 45 minutes already. Um, it's a good argument, though. <laughs> you, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good argument, but it's not, it's, it's, it's not the only argument, yeah. right? Especially for number nines. I was listening to what you guys had to say during the U.S. number nine conversation. You say, Haji Wright is, is actually the hot player right now. Yeah. Maybe he should start. But there's no doubt Henry Martin still the hot player in the number nine position. Yeah. Santiago Jimenez, um, hmm. for about the past three months, right, after he missed a couple of games with injury, he came back. He struggled a little bit. Okay. Struggled a little bit. Yeah. Wasn't as consistent as he was last year when undoubtedly he was the best number nine for the Mexican national team. Right now, again, this is not a friendly match. This is not a test match. This is a, a game against Panama that is going to give you the ticket to play the final against either the U.S. or Jamaica. You need your best players on the field. And right now, I feel like as a starter, Henry Martin has better arguments than Santiago Jimenez. So there are two train of thoughts here. What does the Mexican national team need? Do they need to win a Nations League? No. You need to perform well in a Copa America and do well at the World Cup. And what does Jimmy Lozano need? Jimmy Lozano needs to do well at the Nations League. Right. There's no such thing as a free hit if you're yeah. the Mexico oh, man. For, for, for Jimmy Lozano, for yeah. Yeah, for, for Jimmy <laughs> Lozano, you need to absolutely beat Panama and have a good performance. It's not win the Nations League to be around for Copa America. And that's what's at play here. So while easy money is... And the, the simple train of thought is you have a player who's 21 years of age, who's tearing up the area of who's going to go on a massive transfer somewhere else in the summer. Let him be that player for the future. Give him this time, these games now. He doesn't have that luxury because Santiago Jimenez has not proven to be that player with the Mexican national team. But the logic there is that the difference between Santiago Jimenez and Henry Martin is so much that if you start Santiago Jimenez, you're, you're dramatically lowering your chance. I don't believe win. that. That's where I'm with you. I do not believe that. I, I believe that your chance to win is equally as much of it. So then you have to start Santiago Henry Martin. Jimenez. I am with you. Yeah. I am with you. I don't think Jimmy Lozano is with you. And I think Jimmy Lozano is going to revert to what he trusts. And who he trusted in the Olympic Games when he played, and when, when Henry Martin played for him and they won a, a bronze medal was Henry Martin. Who he trusted as the starter at Copa, uh, Gold Cup, excuse me, was Henry Martin. Who we will trust again, I believe, will also be Henry Martin. My frustration here, Mao, is that we kind of keep finding reasons, excuses, whatever, not to make Santiago Jimenez the guy when it feels like there's an inevitability that Santiago Jimenez needs to be the future number nine for Mexico. If you're not going to do it two years out from a World Cup in a CONCACAF Nations yeah, League, when Nations are you going to finally give him well, the opportunity? Because, because or is he not the guy? Is he not the guy that I think? Or well, not the guy yet. Not the guy yet. And, and you said it yourself. The difference is not that abysmal between them two, right? It's not. I, it's, it's not that big. Honestly, it is it So is why not? not right? Unless you're Santi. looking at their club because, form. Because right now, and I agree with you 100%, Jimmy Lozano, for some reason, has more confidence in Henry Martin than Santiago Jimenez. That is clear. We know that. And I think there's another element to that, which is Julian Quinones is going to start. He is going to Ooh, start. I don't know about that. Oh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident he's, I would start he's, him. I don't know about start. that. I feel he's going to start. And that pairing, Santiago Jimenez, Henry Martin works, right? No, no. So Julian what, Quinones. Uh, what Martin. did I say? Santiago. Yeah, so yeah. maybe I'm projecting myself right now. <laughs> Julian Quinones, Henry Martin, yes. they work well together. That's yeah. another, another element why Jimmy Lozano, which is the, I, now, I do want to Again, see, another reason to do, keep Santiago do off I the think, field. Do I think Santiago Jimenez is going to be the starter come 2026? Yes, I think so. So then is the argument, do you start working them in together? I don't think they can play together. Enough. No? I, I would love for them to, to find a structure where, the, where they play together. I don't think that's the way Jimmy Lozano plays okay. or likes, likes to but present the team. Remember what I said earlier, sometimes it's about finding the personnel as a manager, what you have and adapting to your personnel instead yeah. of forcing your philosophy on players yeah. that you don't have. I don't disagree with that case, but you also said that coaches have their guys. And this is yeah, proven to be uh, Henry Martin is, is a Jimmy Lozano guy. And that's, that's frustrating for the Santi Jimenez fans mm -hmm. and, and myself 
who think this kid has a massive future, but if you can't get him going, let him be that guy. P or, excuse me, the Feyenoord allows him to be that guy. And there may be a big club out there in the Premier League or in Serie A or La Liga who allows him to be that guy, but he can't be that guy in CONCACAF? That's tough, though. What? Because then, then normally you make that next step up and then you have to take a little bit of a different role because you're going into a hierarchy. Wow. Is if he they, that if they spend so 60, good that if they spend 60 million take, for you. Well, <laughs> they're, they're, yeah, well, yeah, I think that well, goes. Chelsea did that. And, right. And, and Christian didn't quite be able to, but you know. They, but so they the gave him the benefit get, of the doubt. You know, know, he comes in, and who, remember, whose jersey did he club take? club has a lot Eden more. Hazard's jersey of number yeah. 10. So, uh, yeah, I agree with yeah. you, but yeah. there are and, expectations. And there's yeah. nothing wrong with Henry playing 60 minutes mm. and Santi playing 30 minutes. Well, there's nothing we've wrong seen with it. that. We've seen uh, Santi come off the bench to great effect uh, previously for Mexico. Gold Cup. Exactly. There you go. There you go. Against, uh, Santi, by the way, who, by the way, three goals. Oh, Panama. Yeah. Uh, three goals <laughs> in his last five. So, Struggle to start the year, but maybe catching a little bit of heat. And I believe uh, you're, you're betraying Club America like that.